Today we really are riding something a little bit different. Today I'm going all retro cruiser because in front of us we have the 2021 Triumph Speedmaster. Now this is the 1200cc, 76 horsepower, 112 newton meters of torque, um, sort of bobber. This, is, this came out after the bobber. Remember the bobber? It was a bit impractical but looked really cool. Well, this is the Speedmaster, which is based on the bobber, but has better suspension, you know, a bit more of a comfortable seat, a bit more of a touring retro feet forward on the cruiser position. So today we're going to be taking this bad boy out for a little bit of a cruise around the countryside. So make yourself comfortable, grab a cup of tea, because Chopsy, let's roll the intro. So last year I spent a fair amount of time riding the new Triumph Rocket 3 and that was the f one of the first sort of cruisers I've had on a long term basis and I really enjoyed the whole feet forward cruiser action so I thought let's borrow the Speedmaster I know this is a bit of a cheaper, more practical perhaps cruiser than the Rocket 3 obviously the power's way down so jumping aboard, first thing to note where'd you put the key? well the key is actually in the side of the bike here so you power it on down here that's wild straight away that took me at least five minutes to work out where the key was i was messing around with the steering lock here thinking how'd you turn this bloody thing on but anyway enough of that let's do it let's power her up we've got to pull the clutch yeah right before we set off you know the routine let's do a very quick noise check actually sounds pretty darn throaty let's go first thing to note with this feet forward position and these swept back bars sort of low speed maneuverability feels a little bit hair raising i'm six foot two and when i do full lock oh no the, the, the bar's just coming above my knee i thought perhaps there the, the bars were hitting my knee but they're not so i can turn quite sharp with the bars just going above my knees here, so but it does take a little bit of getting used to that low speed maneuverability on this. Oh, she's got a nice amount of grunt, you know. I'm quite surprised there. Well, I'm not really surprised because I've just got off the speed twin, which is very similar to this engine. This is a 1200cc eight valve parallel twin with the 270 degree crank. Now, this is detuned. Or, or the speed twin is up tuned because this doesn't make nowhere near as much power as what the speed twin does this is 76 horsepower and the speed twin is 99 horsepower so it's it's it's, it's a lot of power missing compared to the speed twin on this bike and it's not just the out and out power the torque is also down this is i think 106 newton meters of torque and the speed twin is 112 newton meters of torque I'll flash it on the screen if I've got that wrong. So it's down on torque, down on power, and it's also up in weight. This is a 264, I think, kilo motorcycle wet. So in the speed twin was about 212 kilos wet. So it's heavier, it's less powerful. So what's this all about? Well, what's better about it? It's also more expensive than the speed twin the speed twin will set you back starting from 11,000 and the speed master is 12,100 so it's less powerful it's more expensive it's heavier what's going on has this bike got anything good going for it so this is a first ride review so this is the first time i've ridden this machine and riding position if you're not used to this cruiser position this will feel very foreign to you so the seat is like a big sculpted affair it doesn't feel as big as the rocket 3 seat with my big wide ass i'm sort of finding the edges of the seat with this i thought this would be a bit bigger for bigger bottoms but it's 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 fairly big but i, I, I could do with something a little bit bigger perhaps because it's very much the seat you're sat in you're sculpted into it there's no moving around you know you're in this seat without moving while you're riding 
your knees are up in the air, the pegs are, are forward, not massively forward, but they, they are quite forward. And then what makes it really weird, I could live with all that, but the bars are these big swept back bars. So you're only steering from sort of your elbows, your arms are sort of down by your side, and you're sort of like this. You know, so uh, we'll see, we'll see, but at the moment it feels a little bit foreign. Also the grips, are massive great grips on these. It's quite hard to even sort of get your hand around the girth of these grips. I know we all would like a bit more girth, but I think Triumph may have gone a bit OTT. What does stand out, and what always stands out when you're riding a bike with this 1200 twin in it, it is so smooth, so chalky, instant response to the power. You know, you don't thrash this bike, you drive it with the torque and it's got a lot of go. It's, it, you know, even in a higher gear, it pulls nicely. There is a little gear indicator I've just noticed on there, but it's got plenty of pull. I mean, this isn't a bike you want to go tearing around the countryside on. Even me, <laughs> who loves to tear around the countryside, let's get through on the, the BT man. This is, a, this is definitely a cruiser. The Rocket 3 could scratch your performance itch, you know, that was a bike you could throw around and it, was, it handled surprisingly well. I think initially this will handle, but it's definitely, this is definitely a bike to slow yourself down on. I mean, even the Speed Twin was quite a performance retro, you know, it handled that, it's got the M50 brakes on it. This is definitely a slow yourself down retro. You've had enough of going quickly. You want to just cruise between cafes. This is what this machine is about. And uh, I like that idea. Talk, plenty of it, please. I must say that talk is quite addictive. <laughs> I just keep opening it up all the time and it sounds beautiful. I think this is entirely stock, the exhaust on this bike. It's got a really nice deep throb to the exhaust now. I don't know how much of that will come out, but it's a really nice sounding bike, this. And it's got the odd little pop and a burble as well. Yeah, it has a little bit of overrun pop. Really nice and talky. 76 horsepower and 260 kilos. Oh, there's my tea. tea. You would think that that really wouldn't deliver much performance, but this is more than enough performance for this sort of bike. There, that, that's enjoyable. That's very enjoyable. The gearbox is slick. The clutch action's really nice. It is a cable, but it's got a really nice clutch, clutch action. And I really like these levers. They feel very nice in, in your, on your fingers. Quite a wide lever. Yeah, I like the levers, with the, but I'm, I'm still not 100% sold on the swept back bars. Oh, that little overrun pop sounds delightful. Absolutely delightful. Hang on, look at this sign here. Wheelie down road. I think I may struggle on this, but I'm always up for trying. So there she is, the 2021 Speed Master. It's a master of speed. Hmm, not sure I'd entirely agree there. From the front, you have a full LED headlight, unlike the Speed Twin, which is still halogen. This has got a full LED on it. I don't quite understand why the Speed Twin doesn't have this headlight. This is the same headlight as from the uh, Rocket 3, whereas the Rocket 3's got two of them. It's a really nice, nicely set out LED light. Why is it not on the Speed Twin? Up front we have those twin pot calipers and the Showa forks with the gaiters. You know it's all it's all very nice. The, the discs are quite ster sterilized, stylized. They're two 310 millimeter. Front brakes are adequate. Nice bit of chromage around the headlight. Lovely Triumph chrome badging on the tank. Even the exhausts on here are also chromed, unlike the Speed Twin, which just has a stainless steel exhaust. I don't know why the Speed Twin's not got chrome pipes, because they look much nicer. Here is the engine. I like this brushed aluminium finish to the cases here. 
Bonneville 1200, as you say, but more or less the same as the Speed Twin. All of the injections the same, they're made to look like a carb, but obviously it's not. What is a bit weird is the keys down here. I don't know why the key can't be up the top, but there we are, it's down here. And also, what is odd, is this little cover here with this funny little, funny little uh, cap. If you remove the cap, which is like a cast, it's the worst cap I've ever seen. It's like a horrible cast aluminum, bit of aluminium. And in there, it's just basically an inspection for the rear brake reservoir, that's it. But this cap is, looks horrible. The rear of the bike, this one has no pillion seat, but you can also get a pillion seat here. So you can swap this little rack for a pillion seat which sits on here. The main seat is very nice. You've got a nice little pad here. Now it's fairly wide, but if you've got a bottom as ample as me, I'm sort of hanging over a little bit. <laughs> my arse isn't that, but looking at the seat, I think my arse should have fitted in it. So, uh, but I found it maybe a little bit tight. I think the Rocket 3 has got a bigger seat or as my ass just got bigger. It's the same exhaust design as the Speed Twin where you've got the cat is all hidden underneath. So it looks like you've just got a couple of bangers, a couple of chrome bangers sticking out, but all the cat is up underneath. So, you know, for a, for a styling exercise of the exhaust, you don't need to change those pipes, do you? But you just need a look, it needs a little bit more volume. It's got a nice throaty sound, but just a little bit more volume to be absolutely perfect, but certainly can't complain about the look of those exhausts. Left hand side of the bike you've got that lovely brushed casing on the left as well. I do like that. That, that engine looks beautiful doesn't it? The fit and finish on that engine looks lovely. And there's another little cover here which I'm guessing has the battery underneath. The wrong way. A weasel just across there. A weasel? Really? Yeah. Just really? Well just across the road there? Yeah, ran from the gates. I suddenly saw it going across the road. Oh, I thought Blacky brownie thing, um, long tail, yeah. straight into the head. Bloody hell, I don't, I, think, seen one for I don't think I've ever seen a weasel out in the wild. Uh, there we go, weasels. Turning her on. There's those clocks. Like I say, nice, nice little Bonneville touch on the top there. I like that. But uh, I would have liked this chrome maybe. A bit of chrome. A little bit plasticky perhaps. Where's my chrome triumph? What we do have nice and chrome is the fuel cap. Is it just a screw type fuel cap? Oh no, oh, it's got a little keyler. Oh, that's nice, isn't it? But there we are, the Speed Master. Let's jump back on. A lot of people are asking me, phone mounts. This is the Ultimate Add ons one. I can get you 10% off with the code LCR10. But there we are perfect for solution for holding your phone and it's all rubberized inside so you don't have to worry about it damaging your telephony machine ah lovely i must say i do find it appealing you, you're enjoying the ride you know the scenery where you're headed to you know the journey it's about the journey enjoying the journey you know, it's not about throwing it around, throttling through the corners. I think, you know, this, 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 this is a proper cruiser. And I mean, you know, it's, it's about, about cruising. It's about cruising only, you know. I mean, the R90 I've, I borrowed, that was, a, that was a capable machine. And you end up throwing it around and, and getting the enjoyment from the bike. Not saying you can't enjoy this bike, but it's a different sort of riding experience. You know, it's for people who aren't looking. And if you've got any inclination to want to do a wheelie, <laughs> this isn't the bike for you. Wheelies! You stop going on about wheelies, Jobs. We're not all lunatics. It's got a couple of different modes. I'm in road mode at the moment. So let's have a little, let's see what the mode options are. Rain, oh, rain or road. Well, we're stuck the road. So, I mean, it's not even a sport mode, you know. So that, that tells you what this machine is about, doesn't it? A bit of a pop, pop, a pop, pop, pop along. Enjoy the scenery. Where's my next cafe? It's that sort of machine. It doesn't mean that you need turnips on your jeans and a beard to enjoy this machine. Uh, th this this has a lovely ride to it. It's, it's suspension feels great. I mean, it's you know, it's not. It's very, it's, it's got, it's a good balance of 
sort of it's a little bit taut it soaks up the bumps i think the suspension has been set perfectly and that, that is one of the changes for 2021 in the playing of that suspension and i think they've got it cock on they've got the suspension cock on and i'm also you know a 19 20 ish stone fatty and uh, even with my bulk on it and i've noticed the rear shock is on the softest preload setting i'd be happy with this i don't want it any harder for this type of machine perfectly adequate give it a little bit in the twisties still can't help myself are you ever going to grow up jobs if you look at the specs alone on this bike you're going to think it's slow but riding it because that torque is quite low down the rev range you make really good progress on it when you open it up it's fast enough i think it is fast enough for this type of machine torque she's got some pull Woohoo! it's got more pulling power than brad pitt and george clooney put together 70 miles an hour in sixth gear it's absolutely ticking over absolutely ticking over that motor but because of the riding position because you're sort of lent back a little bit you're you're sort of holding on the wind's trying to blow you off the back it's also trying to blow your legs open as well so at 70 miles an hour it's not really what this bike is about it, it's it's quite it will be hard work for a long distances despite its name it is not the master of speed listen to that oh, what? that sounds good <laughs> he loves it he's looking he's looking he's impressed by the speed master corner oh yeah oh, hey there's the foot pegs down that, that does make you jump when it does that that's the first time i've touched the pegs down they're quite low those are quite low they touch down very easily <laughs> ground clearance is a little bit limited i guess because it's such a low bike i'm surprised that that touched down very easy very easy indeed so it made me jump a little bit there i wasn't expecting that throttle response is very very nice as you know i said this about the speed twin perfect amount of engine braking beautiful beautiful throttle response you know no snatchiness very nice clutch action very nice gear action just what you want for this sort of bike just a lazy ride where it's effortless you haven't got to concentrate on being smooth it's just lovely and easy to ride and uh, yeah a lot of time for that i think that's probably the highlights of the bike for me just how how easy it is how effortless it is to ride and just cruise around and pull yourself through the corners with this big grunty motor yeah it's a lovely place to be providing you don't want to go too fast or too quickly around the corners come on now you're holding up the speed master oh come along now let's just let's, let's try a little bit of filterage it feels a little bit weird low speed stuff with the bars swept back so you've got limited you know leverage because the bars are swept back and your feet are up and forward you know low speed maneuverability it doesn't feel overly natural but that's probably just a you know a getting used to it type of thing you know, we can we can sneak through there relative because the bars are tucked in i suppose you haven't got it makes it easy to get through traffic because of those swept through bars but uh yeah i think it's fine once you're used to it you can sneak along we'll, we'll let mr motor Gutsy play chicken we'll get to the front next to him hey perfect timing so the 2021 triumph speedmaster what are my thoughts well it's only a quick first ride but it's really exactly what i thought it would be it's exactly what it says on the tin you know it's it's a retro cruiser and it ticks that box don't be put off by the statistics you know the power statistics and the weight of it it's got much more go than i thought it would have it's got plenty of pull so don't be put off trying this because you think it's not going to be quick enough the heritage triumph you know like the bonnevilles this is all based on you know the bonneville for a larger guy i'm six foot two i just i do find them a little bit small 
So I think any of the Triumph Heritage range, apart from perhaps the Scrambler, the 1200 Scrambler, I do like that one because it's got the bigger suspension, but I think all of the other Heritage range of, uh, of the Bonnevilles, you know, I think they're a little bit small for larger riders. And I think that would put me off, it's, that would put me off buying the Speed Twin and probably also the Speedmaster if I was looking for a cruiser. If I was looking for a cruiser because I'm a bit of a, a speed freak, I'd probably want the Rocket 3. I know the Rocket 3 is like £8,000 more expensive than this, so, you know, it's in a completely different class really, but for me the Rocket 3 would tick the box. But don't think you have to have turn-ups on your jeans and a beard to enjoy one of these. Absolutely not. It's a beautiful bike and it rides mwah, lovely. Yes, I do have turn-ups on my jeans, but that's just because my trousers are too long. <laughs> it's not done for style. If you enjoy your breakfast off a shovel, then you're definitely going to love this. But it's not just for the hipsters. This is power level one, which is full power. <laughs> Oh, I could do that all day. What have you done here? <laughs> I told you I was scared back there. I've never dropped a bike before in my life. Oh! Backfire! That's it! That's it! <laughs> Listen to this. Very nice, very nice. Like it. Is it the stone? What version is that? Is it the stone? Oh, he's got away. Cheeky sod. <laughs> 